Hey everyone, and we're taking a look at Dominari Tournament, a Nodal Conquest RTS, uh, just released the early access by Tiny RTS Studios, just right there. Now, this isn't a game I normally would have been interested in. There's a, a fiasco with some review codes, and I got a few extra that I didn't necessarily want, but I got them, so like, well, let's use them. Because um, it's a Node Conquest game, you have, you know, you have nodes that produce units that you send to other nodes, and if that, if you send more units, that node has defenders, and you get the node, and it's, I have no respect for this genre, because it's like the most primitive type of video game you could possibly make. I think it's like one of the low, one of just the least respectable types of RTSs, or type of video games, period, that you could uh, possibly develop, but I'm happy to say that Tiny RTS has, they decided, hey, we're going to do this, we're going to do it right, and they're going to make it um, as deep as they can. Uh, it just came out in early access, not with many people playing in multiplayer, but there's some single player action to look at, including, let's uh, take a look at, uh, I think I just did Veteran. So let's go into expert mode, and hopefully I'll, I'll survive. You ever played a game like this before, you should pretty decent idea what's going on. So here's our home planet. We send out our, send out our f fighters to go conquest to produce more resources and collect more, uh, gather more planets for resources and fighter production. We can upgrade our abilities. We have abilities such as producing a low orbit, uh, low, what, low orbit construction facility. That gives us bonuses to our economy. Let's upgrade that right away to extend its range. All right, you guys, get over there. Your fighters can only go, you know, so far. Let's upgrade our economy. Oh, it's, it's, it's immediately stressful because I know that if we mess around too long, the AI is going to get really, really strong. But uh, yeah, really simple. If you ever played a game like this before, uh, let's upgrade that. Just get that as wide as you can. B, uh, you can probably go down there and conquer some stuff. I really wish that, so when you, mul when you drag and select multiple planets, I really wish they would all go where you tell them to. They just just move one cell closer, which is not helpful. Uh, more resources, please. Upgrade this planet. But here you have four different types of orbital. Each orbital is associated with, uh, with its own array of abilities, which all require resources. You can only build one of each type of orbital other than the defensive orbital. Speaking of, let's uh, go down here and then we'll build our ODS station down there. The spy orbital gives us some line of sight, which we probably really want. Oh, oh, well, that's good timing, I think. Uh, you guys get there, try to defend that. That's going fine. Let's build the defense. Oh, there it is. The ODS on it. Of course, I can't defend it. Uh, we can summon fighters on it. Add a fighter factory there. Throw some more defenses over there. You guys go conquer that. You all need to get closer in here. Uh, more resource production. Planets can only specialize in resources or fighters. Not both. Can you guys get, just get over there? And you all get over there. You're fine doing nothing. Uh, let's build defenses there. Oh, missed it immediately. Okay, we'll recon reconquer. You can build defenses there. Get access to turrets. We can actually upgrade the turrets. Number of turrets we can build. Turrets stick out ten fighters apiece. And then, yeah, all the all the combat happens in a one-to-one -one exchange, which I find like one of the things I hate most about just the entire genre. All right, you guys could probably just go over there and take whatever that is, whatever's left there. Uh, we need to build our quantum development lab. This one gives us access to some of our most powerful abilities. Oh, that was a, it was a big fight. We might actually not win that. Increasing resource production. Yeah, it looks like we did lose that fight. Let's get all our ships over. As much as we can. Add more ships in there because about to be attacked. Add a turret. Production of okay. Uh, we need to really need the the ODS, the orbital thing right here. One twenty-five. Come on, come on, get there. There we QDL go. We build right the QDL. 
that lets us get some really good abilities off. Resource extractor. At, once we get the resources for it. One of my favorite abilities being the where is it? The faster than life, the FTL ability. Because it's very, it's very convenient to instantly warp. It instantly warps a uh, proportion of your fighters. In fact, I'm going to upgrade the ability right now. Super convenient. Oh, those already have over Alright, we're in a bit of a stalemate right now. Fighter factory constructed. Uh, these plants back here produce because they're further away from the action, so I don't need them producing as many uh, combat units. I think we can, yeah, we just move out to attack these guys. We have enough enough fighters. Oh, can I recall? No, you cannot. You guys need to get there to defend that. Enemy fighters detected. Defenses improved. Go, go, go! Shoot a missile. Eh. missile. Got him. No, did I miss? I'm pretty sure I missed that. Those. Uh, pretty sure I missed a shot. I took that back. Fortunately, took down my orbital. I would just take that back. Oh no! 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 Maximum turrets reach. Oh come on! Recruited. Get in there. Retake that place. Uh, go go take that. You guys sit right there. Whoa, it's getting intense. Um. Increasing production of fighters. Increasing resource production. GPA online. Throw in the defensive. As many of these defensive. Guys, we can send half over there. You guys are fine. Oh, we lost our QDL, but my favorite, my favorite structure. Put it here. QDL online. Uh, still need more resources. Upgrade right there. I don't use all these abilities. I use the economy boosters, um, reinforce turrets, missiles to destroy turrets. Like right there, bomb oh, numbers missile. turret. Bam, turrets down. And the FTL. That's pretty much as much as I've uh, managed. What, what is that? That's an orbital there. I also sometimes use the spy satellite. Orbital already present. The orbital already present. You already have, oh, you already have the, the ODL or whatever. Friendly planets required. Oh, it's FTL. Fighters <laughs> A bunch of our fighters there. After he fails that attack, we just jump over here. Continue to boost our economy back here. And our fighter production over here. Just anytime we conquest something, throw on this uh throw on the orbitals. It looks like we should ha have this. Can you reach there? You can. Go ahead and send half over there. Hey, who wants to have more resources? There you do. You want us to have more fighters? You do. Hey, we barely got it. Drop down fight. <sighs> barely got those fighters off. Uh, put in a turret in there. Turrets only take down 10 fighters, so I don't respect them that much. Uh, how about... No. You're not taking that. 360 fighters there now. Upgrade more. And I think we got this. At this point, as you would normally expect from the Nodal Conquest type game, at this point we're pretty much like we pretty, pretty much got it. We have it in the bag. We're just waiting to win. Uh, let's get a scanner. That's a like real nice scan. scan. Uh, that's probably his homeworld. So if we just go straight there and shoot some missiles over there. Where's the missiles? Launching missile. And the FTL. Oh, I have to build orbital. Yeah, build orbital to FTL. There you go, 597, go, oh, we can't get there, go over there. Your ultimate objective is just to destroy the homeworld, so as you can see, I have like a six fleet of 600, and they have nothing. Pretty much four fighters and have four turrets, yeah, they're, they're, they're done. Zero fighters, three turrets, and once you take the homeworld, it's game over. Bang, got it. We've won. No one even got to these corner planets. Interesting. And there it is, Dominari Tournament. Uh, see some right there. Uh, our resource rates and fighter generation per minute. It costs 50 to upgrade ability. You saw me doing it, I didn't really explain it. It costs uh, 50 resources to upgrade ability. To either make the ability more powerful, like lower cooldown for inactive abilities, or with the orbitals, that upgrades the area of effect for the orbital. You only, only really did that with the economy one. Make that one better, increase its uh, range, which I probably didn't even need to do all the way. 
Uh, getting the defensive array upgraded as well as fine it expands the field. They, when they overlap, they do. Uh, the fleet flies through multiples. It does. It does hit multiple times. So destroys five fighters each, which isn't that much. So once you get a big old blob of like 200 fighters, you know, our real defense is the Doomsday Orbital Archon. It's a uh, temporary death orbital that destroys 50 enemy fighters. So you can put this on a planet that's about to get hit by a big fleet, and it'll uh, take out 50 of them, which is pretty good, but, I mean, you know, once you're... You, this, one reason I hate these Total Combat games is that they snowball like crazy all the time. Uh, this game has some... Uh, this, this game has some anti-snowball effects with the abilities. I can scramble the vision. You have the teleporting around. You can build up the efficient defenses-ish. Efficient-ish defenses. Efficient enough that the enemy attacks carelessly. You can punch them uh, with the instant re reinforcements and the turrets, as well as the doomsday devices and the overlapping phase arrays. But there it is, Dominari Tournament. Um... Yeah, nodal combat games, I mean, they're so basic. It's just like, it, it's, you, you look at the history of video games, a nodal combat, a nodal, nodal strategy conquest RTS is like the, some of the primordial ooze of video games. I think, I think even like NES platformers are more advanced. Just have no respect for the genre of nodal conquest RTS. Because you can go, it's like the first game anybody makes in like Flash. For, from 2000 to 2010, there's like a billion of these, so they're so simple to make. But, like I said, Tiny RTS did do a good job of committing to the idea and not just accepting that, you know, that's the nature of the genre. They've executed it as well as you can execute the kind of this kind of game, added a ton of abilities, and put as much depth as you can into a genre that you'd expect to be paper thin, which I have a lot of respect for that. So just for that alone... I, I commend this game and what it's trying to do, that it uh, took such a simple concept, so a paper, took a piece of paper and tried to make it wider, to try to stretch it out. I respect that. That is respect for me. If you're at all interested, check it out on Steam. Like I said, it came out on Early Access just on the 8th, which should be yesterday by the time it's posted. Thanks for watching. Leave a like to the video. Subscribe for more fun. Just so that no deal. I'll see you next time. And your obscure compliment is that you'd be a great... You'd be a great Dominari. There you go. I'll see you later.